Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server uh, tutorial. In this video, we are going to create a partition scheme and let's continue. In the previous videos, we created partition function as well as file groups so this is the partition function we created pf beid that's our partition function name then we specified the value range after that we created four files and each file belongs to one group partition scheme gets the partition advice from partition function so here if you see partition scheme is uh, talking to partition function so not only that and uh, it assigns a file group to each partition so that's the scheme so the partition scheme links to partition function knows what are all the available value range to perform partition then for each partition function advisor group what are all the file group to assign so those two job partition scheme will do so this way you can have table data split into data groups and get stored in different physical drive so data groups that's done by partition function and assigning it to different physical disk that's done by the partition scheme say a table is having 4 billion records which was grown for 15 years by having partition we can split this 4 billion record and store it in different disk so maybe a more frequent one in a high performing raid disk and other history in other raid disk maybe usually people will put a costly highly performing raid disk to the recent database maybe for present year and going back to three years then remaining history they may still keep in good disk but uh, compared to this disk the recent disk will be more costlier and its uh, response time will be very quick so that's the use of uh, partitioning so by having partition we can split and store it in different disk this will reduce the data maintenance and improve performance with reduced disk io why because if you see in each disk we have a different partition so if our partition contains four group and they are divided in terms of yes or here in our example it's divided based on the person id so if a query comes with a specific person id the sql server knows which partition to look that means it is looking at a subset of data to retrieve the content so instead of looking all the rows now it looks at specific rows because it knows that the data available in this very specific partition a scheme can use only one partition function but a partition once created can be used by many schemes so that's why when we write partition function we write it in more generalized way so that it can be used in many partition schemes so below you see the partition scheme here the statement is create partition previously we used the create partition function this time we are using 
create partition scheme and this one is the scheme name or partition scheme name as partition pfbid this is the partition function if the same our partition function is i mean the partition scheme is linking the partition function create partition scheme scheme name as partition partition name two these are all the four file groups so in our previous example we changed the name instead of person one person two person three person four we used person g1 person g2 person g3 person g4 like that we used the file group name so the scheme is linking the partition function and partition groups SCBID is the name given to the scheme PFBAID is the name given to the partition function so we already created that partition function and we are referring that here person 1 to person 4 are the file group names all right now we will go to demo and create the partition scheme now we will create the new query window we are already at adventures work database so we are already at adventure works database here if you see the statement is create partition scheme scheme name is sc scheme bid business entity id as partition partition function name to so once you specify the partition function name the scheme knows that there are four groups and here to assign each group to a specific file group name so now we will execute this and you can see command completed successfully now we have partition function we have partition scheme and we have these file groups as well all right that's all here in this video just now you saw the demo thank you for watching bye